What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Cash J, because I get to the bag. And I'm back with another video, man. Today, I'm going to be talking about cold approaching, talking to girls, conversation starters, stuff like that, to help y'all get over the awkwardness of having a conversation with a female. So a subscriber, a subscriber DM me on Instagram the other day, the, the, um, today, and I'm going to read to y'all what he said, and I'm going to put it up on the screen. All right, so a lot of people be telling me I'm decently handsome, and and S and they su be surprised I'm terrible with girls. I'm like actually so bad with girls it's ridiculous. I be getting nervous and S and not knowing what to say but when I'm around my homies I can socialize like normal. To put into perspective there was this one girl I liked since the beginning of the school year. Her name was Giselle and one day the teacher put us in a group together so I was like this is my chance. I tried talking to her but I just talked really low and sounded nervous and couldn't really come up with anything interesting to say. And when I asked for a number she was like I don't really give out my number and dipped. I fumbled hard and I was so disappointed. I saw your video on how to not be awkward. I saw your videos on how to raise and not be awkward and all that, but I think I need specific advice for my situation. So I'm finna give you advice, my boy. Rule number one. The number one way to get over the fear of talking to girls is cold approach. What do you mean by that, Jay? No disrespect to any girl watching this video. I think y'all are beautiful. But when I, when I had the fear of um, talking to girls, I got used to talking to girls that were unattractive to me, right? So what do you mean by that, by that, Jay? Girls that you just find unattractive, right? And what that does, if you become friends with unattractive girls and you talk to unattractive girls, then you're going to get to be around their friends who are sometimes attractive, right? So what that does is they get you used to um, being around attractive girls and that helps you understand how they are in the situation, right? So then after you start cold approaching ugly girls or unattractive girls, then you start approaching the girls that you attracted to. And you don't got to be on no weird, funny stuff. Be on some friendly stuff. Just be their friend. Number one thing I didn't learn, do not look for a relationship, right? So if you're not looking for a relationship, you're just looking for friends. That don't mean you can't do nothing with your friends. But you know what I'm saying? Just have the mentality that you just want to be their friend. Unless you really, really see something with this girl. But even much if a girl is that attractive that you want to be with them, you still want to get to know their personality first. So it's always best to be friends before anything. So, cold approach. Now, I'm finna show y'all what y'all say when y'all approach a girl. When you approach a girl, like I said, you don't wanna you don't wanna compliment her on her looks, especially if she's attractive. What you wanna compliment her on is the little things. Because women take women put a lot of attention to detail when they're getting ready in the morning and stuff like that. So they wanna get complimented on things that, you know, they have insecurities about. Like maybe they dumb, right? Or, or maybe they think they dumb. So you compliment them on their intelligence. If you have a class with them or something. It's like, dang, I always know that you always know something about this subject. You're pretty smart. She'll be like, thank you. And of course, I'll help you with that, right? So now what this does, now you didn't um, initiate this conversation. This is actually perfect, right? Because now while y'all working on math, science, whatever, English, whatever y'all working on, y'all working together, you can talk about whatever you want to make small talk. And um, you can be like, oh, where do you get your smartness from? Your mama, your father, was they smart? Da, da, da. Where do you get your intelligence from? Stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And then she'll start talking about it. Be like, oh, you grew up around here? Because, you know, I'm not from here. Like, is it cool down here? Is it... Da, da, da. And you just talk. Like, you just talk, right? So say you cold approaching a good looking girl, right? Maybe she got her nails done. She wearing flip flops. You can see her nails. They just got done. And maybe she got a nice little bag. You can be like, oh, that's. That's a nice bag. Where did you get it from? Right? And then she'll tell you, oh, I got it from the mall. Now, it's two possible things that she can answer. Right? She can answer a dry response or she can answer a deep response. If she answers a deep response, they make your life a lot easier. If she answers a dry response, that you got to do a little more digging. So say she said, oh, I got it from the mall. You'd be like, oh, what store from the mall? She might say something like pink. And then you ask, oh, pink. I like that brand. You Do you go to pink a lot to um, shop? Da, da, da. And then she'll start talking about pink because now she like she know, oh, this dude know about fashion, right? So now y'all having a whole conversation about fashion. You just met the girl simply because you liked her bag, right? Now, one thing you need to learn is when it's laughter in the conversation or whenever you get what you're trying to get, you dip. You don't stay and drag it along for a long time. You get what you you do what you need to do and then you get up out of there. I mean, say she start laughing at a joke you say or like, ah, oh, you funny, da da da. Then you get up out there and be like, I try, and then you gotta tell her, hey, I'll see you around. I gotta go do something. She laughing, oh, you funny. 
I, I try. Hey, I, I'll see you around. I got to go do something real quick. I got to go to this class to um, work on this assignment. Then that's the end of it. The end. Right? You don't stress. It's not hard to talk to girls. Girls is just like talking to boys. And that's what you're going to learn when you start hanging around the ugly girls. Because if they have pretty friends, you're going to see. Especially when a girl get comfortable around you, they act just like a dude. Make sure that you compliment them on the little things, not the big things. And, oh, yeah, this conversation started that I'm giving y'all, like, the number one thing y'all just got to realize is that y'all got to question the compliment, your original compliment, right? So if you compliment her on her shoes, you compliment her on her bag, her nails, make sure you question that compliment after she give you an answer. Because that's the best way to start a conversation. Because once you question the compliment, it create, compliment, it creates a loophole. And y'all can talk about whatever you want at that point. Now, that's other conversation starters you can talk about, like, like where you from, and then she'll tell you where you from, or um, what do you like to do, stuff like that. But I feel like that's more so of a date thing, or that's more that's questions you ask more when you've already like established that you know them. When you don't know them, though, you try to you try to listen because what girls want, they want to do that's gonna listen. They don't want you to come up to them and start talking about, oh, I'm my name Jay and I do this and I do that, da da da. No, they don't care about you. They don't even know who you are. So if you sit there and pay close attention to them and listen, they're going to see, okay, this guy pays attention. He listens. He cares. Or you got to make them feel like you care. So make sure that you asking questions and listening to what they got to say. And then not only when you listen to what they got to say, that it makes it easier for you, the conversation to flow. Now, don't get me wrong. The, the number one reason that dudes get nervous when talking to girls, they scared they're going to get rejected, right? Don't be scared you're going to get rejected. Don't. Do not worry about getting rejected. The worst that the girl can say is no. If the girl say no, that's cool. It don't matter. You losing one out of 4.5 billion. It does not matter. So try not to stress about getting rejected. You're not losing much. Don't be scared, bro. Lock in. That's why I say cold approach first. Cold approach ugly girls. Then cold approach attractive girls. Hang around the ugly girls. You know, everybody don't got to... You don't got to try to make everybody your girlfriend. You don't got to try... To be with a girl, even if she's the most attractive girl you've seen, you still want to try to get to know her personality before you be with her. So make sure you are friends first. You see what I'm saying? So if y'all want a video on more conversation starters, I can give y'all that. But this main conversation starter, this conversation starter I'm telling you right now, that's all you need in life. You just got to listen. Don't be nervous. And to help y'all not be nervous, make sure you approaching this girl right. Make sure you smelling good. Make sure you looking good. Make sure your breath don't stink. Make sure you got a haircut. If you look good, you don't need a haircut. But if you mid, make sure you got a haircut. You know what I'm saying? Don't be stressing, bro. Just vibe out. Just vibe. I hope this video helped y'all out. I hope y'all learned something from this video, man. It's your boy Cash J. Because I get to bag and I'm signing out, man. Peace.